you've been watching the television ads about how fr how your body doesn't know the difference between high fructose corn syrup and table sugar? Well, that's a lot of rubbish. <laughs> there was just a new study that came out that showed that if you ate and drank a lot of um, high fructose corn syrup drinks and sweets and so forth, that it'll actually make you stupid. <laughs> So how does that work? Well, what happened is they did some studies on rats, which was fascinating. And they fed them high fructose corn syrup in their water. So they were getting a certain amount of high fructose corn syrup that they were sure of. And they put them both on the same diets. They had a second group that was given DHA, which is supposed to pre protect the brain. It's an essential fatty acid on the omega-3 side that is very important in brain metabolism. It's found in fish oil. Found in fish oil, yeah, particularly tuna. That's uh, the richest source of DHA. And so when they tested these rats at the end of six weeks, those that were just on the high fructose corn syrup, again with the same number of calories, who had been trained to go through a maze, had a hard time going through the maze. There was a big difference in how they went through it. So there was something that happened to their memory and to their learning. But in the group that had uh, the DHA with it, the essential fatty acid with it, this didn't happen. So it looks like at least that can protect against it. Well, it sounds like it would be a good idea before finals. <laughs> <laughs> take, some, take DHA. some DHA and forget all the soft drinks. <laughs> That's right. Good idea. Because you're right. That makes a huge difference. The DHA does a lot to increase brain function because it makes up such a large per a percentage of brain tissue. And it also helps protect against heart attacks and strokes. Uh, it protects against uh, autoimmune diseases. Uh, it preserves your vision. It helps for people who are depressed or who have PTSD. Uh, and it even helps with infant brain development. So it's a really important essential fatty acid to have. And then the high fructose corn syrup can actually increase your appetite. How does it do that? That's interesting because it, it does something to s cause insulin resistance in the brain. It actually causes what we know as type 3 diabetes because the brain cells have a lot of insulin receptor sites there. And if there's insulin resistance, which means insulin levels have to be higher, it tends to cause those problems. Doesn't it also increase our triglycerides, mm -hmm. which also alters our leptin, which is what increases um, our appetite in Ex our brain? Exactly. You, you got the, biophysi the physiology of that down and the biochemistry of that down very nicely. Yeah, the, the leptin levels that we have uh, should cross the brain, but they don't cross it so well when there's insulin resistance, and the brain becomes relatively resistant to the effects of leptin, keeping in mind that leptin is a hormone that's made by our fat tissues whose job is to make us feel satiated, but it has to get to the brain to do that. So it has a lot to do with how much we eat, and high fructose corn syrup stimulates insulin resistance, and sugar doesn't. Another thing I think to be aware of with high fructose corn syrup is that corn that's not organic is genetically engineered. And that's just an aside to be aware of if you're trying to avoid these genetically engineered foods. Also, corn is subsidized by the government. Yeah, it's hard to believe, isn't it? The very thing that's probably causing this epidemic of obesity, obesity and type 2 diabetes, and now we're finding out uh, memory and learning, uh, is being subsidized by our government, which is the silliest thing. So when you started out talking about this segment, saying that we have a real problem because the, we have way too much uh, high fructose corn syrup in our diet, is a really good point. So we need to pay attention to what we eat. we got to make sure that our kids understand that high fructose corn syrup should be kept out of their diets, particularly if they're, if, they're go, if they're trying to study and be smart. It's also slipped into a lot of processed foods that many times we're just not even aware of, so you have to look for it. Right. So keep in mind, sugar can make you stupid. High fructose corn syrup can make you stupider. So <laughs> stay away from it, and chances are you're going to have a big edge on uh, keeping your, your brain working well, to prevent type 2 diabetes, uh, type 3 diabetes in the brain, and uh, all the other things associated with high fructose corn syrup.